Hi, my name is Jianbo Jiang, and I'm here to present our work done jointly with John Henriks at the VGG in Oxford. Our work is motivated by a fundamental property of convolutional neural networks, which is translation equivalence. What this means is that translations of input images always result in consistently translated outputs. This is illustrated here for an autoencoder, which simply learns to re-encode images without noise, but it applies more generally. So a natural question is, can we teach a network to also be equivalent to other transformations? This includes viewpoint changes such as rotation, but also more general shape or lighting changes, and would allow very robust object recognition. One architecture that attempts to learn general equivalence is a capsule network. It is similar to an autoencoder, but the input and output are related by transformation. Crucially, the parameters of the transformation, such as the X and Y displacement between input and output image, are added to two of the network's activations. Here's an example. Input and output pairs of images related by rotation are given, and one activation is perturbed by its rotation. To achieve a low reconstruction error, the network learns a linear relationship between the input image's rotation and this activation value. However, in practice, this doesn't scale well, as it requires a very accurate regression from image space to this linear activation space. Our approach transforms this regression into a much easier classification by discretizing the parameter space. Since already discretized the translation space with a 2D grid, so it is easy to imagine extending it to a 3D or larger grid. So we simply extend the activation tensor with new dimensions, which may correspond, for example, to rotation. We then perturb it by the rotation amount, but instead of simply adding activation values, we shift or roll the new tensor dimension, as illustrated here. We test it on several datasets, and here are some examples. Our method scales well to geometric transformations such as rotations, but also non-geometric such as shape deformations or color changes. We also tested on small fingering transformations in the knob dataset and large-scale real data from the KT dataset, for example, moving forward on a road. Our experiments explore low data regimes as well as extrapolation of concepts and compositionality. For example, a network that did not see blue spheres during training was still able to reconstruct this concept by combining color and shape activations. Thank you, and please come to the poster or read the paper for more details.